You know, I don't ask for much. I'm a simple person. I just, I just want to play some zombies, have some fun in this really old game. Really old, I mean, it's not that old, but... You know, I, I don't think I'm unreasonable in my desires. And when I record an entire episode of this series, and it goes so well, it's a perfect, perfect run. We show off a great amount of what goes on on this next map. It's so great, and then the footage just gets destroyed, and everything goes wrong. I get a little upset. But, we have to move on, so we're going to try this again. I'm going to play on this map, so if I sound a bit rushed when I play this, you know why. I'll do my best, though. Today we're playing Shinonuma, and we are moving out of the heartland of Germany from the last two maps into the swamps of Japan, fighting the Imperial Army zombies now. Oh boy, this was a pretty important map for story-related reasons, and introduced a couple little staples into the series, just as Varux did. Maybe not as influential, but it was pretty good. So let's get started. We have our four characters starting off. We'll find out who we are pretty quickly, but these are the four characters who will become sort of the centerpieces of the story for the rest of the series. The very... Very pretty map, despite its bleak setting. We have good old Peter McCain up there. I don't really know much about him. I'm not amazingly involved in the story of this game, but... He's up there. He does set a... Quite a dreary... Hopeless... <laughs> kind of feeling towards this map. Still don't know who we are. Still can't knife zombies through windows. Um, so what's special about this map is that once we go downstairs, we're going to have the option of going in four different directions. We'll be able to go to the doctor's quarters, the comms room, the fishing hut, and the storage area. And each one of those is going to have one of the four perk machines. Now, here's the twist here. Uh, we don't need to turn on the power. There's no power on this map. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the perk locations are randomized, so we won't know what... <clears throat> oh, man, excuse me. We, know, we won't know what perk we're going to get until we actually get to where it is. Um, this map is sort of infamous for being very easy, if you know what you're doing. Um... If you do a particular strategy, you can actually just get do essentially infinite rounds. I believe the record is something along the lines of somewhere around 9,000, maybe. Pretty crazy. Uh, I'll explain kind of why uh, a little oh later. Uh, we're going to hope that we get at least half a good as... Wow, that was not even English. We're going to hope that this goes at least half as well as it did the last time I recorded this, because, man, I got to show off just everything. Um. Alright. Cool. Oh, is there more? Zambies. Hello. Ah. Okay. Uh, let's head downstairs, grab the Thompson. The box is always going to spawn here, and the Thompson's over here, so we'll grab that. And we get to pick which direction we're going to go. I think we're going to go to the fishing hut, because uh, that opens up the area that I like to train in, if I can get the, uh, the setup going for the high rounds. This is the flogger. I love the flogger. <laughs> so beautiful, and I'll show it off in action uh, a little bit later. Uh, we have Bouncing Betty's on the wall here if you want to grab those, but we're not going to be bothering. As we as we saw last time, they don't do too much. They're really good in multiplayer because you can get four people, set up a bunch of them on the ground, and uh, it'll just, it can go crazy with how many of them there are, but when it's just one person, you can't really set up enough to for it to matter. 115 written there, which is a little hint at the story. Um, 115 being the element that turns things into zombies. Let's 
so I think, ow, okay, let's not die. Um, I think we'll focus on unlocking the map as opposed to going for the box just yet. Um, I want to get Jug as quick as I can. And this Tommy gun will serve us pretty well. We need, uh, you need 1750 points in order to get to a perk in any direction. Let's do that now, because the first gate costs a thousand, and then getting into the house costs 750 in each direction. So, yeah, this is the big training area where the flogger is, so... Every direction has something of note that you can go towards. As you can see, it's gonna... Um, it's Jug. Oh, thank god, that's exactly what happened in my first game. Okay, this is going well. Uh, let's build a point for that. If we can. Where are the zombies? Wow, alright, well, <laughs> rip. Okay, well, I'm glad we got Chug first. Um, I think next I'll go to the comm room, because that's where the Easter egg song is, and I want to show that off. Um, the storage has the has a little story kind of Easter egg you can look at, which is kind of neat. And then the doctor's quarters has the zip line that you can ride. Um, you can actually see it up here. This little zip line here. So you can't use it just yet. You have to go down there and call it. And then you can ride it back up for 1500 points. It's not that useful though, unfortunately. It's a little expensive and it just doesn't really provide too much value. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, so we're gonna need Jug first, uh, so let's build up points for that. Just so I can have a sense of safety. Once again, Quick Revive will not be gotten because it is useless in solo play in World at War. And Double Tap we may pick up if we get some gun that we think might use it. Um... Ah! So we're playing Dempsey, by the way. I didn't, uh, I didn't make that clear. Um, we actually played Dempsey in the last game as well, so hopefully the our luck will hold out in getting a good run here. Another day of kicking ass. All right, so let's go grab Jug. Um, fucking boom, freak bags. <laughs> Tank Dempsey is, of course, played by Steve Bloom. And I believe he is Chris's favorite of the four original characters. Um, I am quite partial to Rick Toffin myself. I think I he's I meet the, chick who's saying that the most interesting and also kind of the funniest character, honestly. Um, even though, of course, he is a horrible, oh, evil yeah. Nazi. <laughs> but, of course, uh, Mel Brooks taught us that we can, in fact, laugh at Nazis. Dark in here. Okay, so we can find another perk, uh, and I guess we'll start doing that. We'll just keep unlocking the rest of this map. We're gonna need to start spinning the box as well if we're gonna show off the, uh, the special new wonder weapon that is this map, because that wonder weapon is also the uh, the key to getting the really high rounds here. Um, so let's go to the comm room first. This is a nice open area. Um, you can see the, the floors, a lot of the floors in this map are covered in swamp water, which you move really slowly in, and the zombies actually move at full speed, so they'll definitely be able to catch up to you if you go in there. Quick revive, not ideal. Uh, luckily I can show you something that's pretty damn creepy. Let me take this guy's legs off first. There we go. Okay. 
just show you this. Isn't that creepy? <laughs> And the answer to that is yes, they do. They do, in fact, continue to put uh, music Easter eggs in every single map. Um, and in later ones, they sometimes put multiple musical Easter eggs. Uh, this one's called The One. So we'll go check out the storage next, so I can show you the little story kind of hint that they put it. Oh boy. Yeah. So, yeah, this is called the Dog Round, and this is the first map that you see this in. Uh, it's fucking pretty scary. Um, I remember seeing this for the first time and just getting terrified. Um, however, you do get rewarded with a max ammo afterwards, so that'll, that's going to happen every five or six rounds for the rest of the game. And holy fuck, <laughs> it's pretty scary. Uh, let's go to storage. Okay, uh, I have plenty of ammo. I just beat the dog rack. I was like, do I have ammo? It's like, dumb ass, you just beat the dogs. Um, okay, so let's, if you look over there, I wonder if that rock brought those freak bags. Yeah, that is a, a meteor made of pure element 115. And that is, in fact, what is creating all the zombies in this area. Uh, a lot of maps in zombies are centered around... Another nuke! Uh, are centered around uh, pockets of 115 bringing zombies to life nearby. Um, that is the first map to kind of really show that. Let's grab that. And then we'll go see what perk we have available. But yeah, it's just such a neat thing. It's kind of creepy, like a lot of stuff in zombie maps. Uh, go ahead and open this. As you can see, we also have uh, Electra Trapped here. Uh, double tap, damn it. I want Speed Cola. <laughs> um, yeah, you don't have to turn on power because there's no power on this map for these Electric Traps, so that's kind of nice. Um, how am I getting lost in here? What the fuck? Um, die. All right. And Man, why are there all these point these power up spawning? Very odd. Okay. Um. Let's go check out the final area. We pretty much unlocked the entire map. So the doctor's quarter is his last. That's what speed cola is going to be. Oh god, this is a dumb idea. This is not a smart idea. Let's not be in the water. Nope, 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 nope. So we're going to call the zip line, and you can see uh, it's going to like clothesline the zombies that it goes over, which is pretty funny. Uh, Alright, now we'll grab Speed Cola here. Alright, right. and I'll show you the, going, the zip line going up. You have to pay, uh, come on, really? Okay, this is not good. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, yeah you have to pay 1500 to go up. We're not going to do that because we really need to spend the box uh, as many times as we can now. So we can try and get the new weapon. Um. Might be able to show you the box moving as well, because that's uh, a feature that we haven't been able to see yet. That got introduced last uh, last map, I believe. Just Molotovs. No okay. <laughs> Even Dempsey knows Molotovs are useless. 
I haven't actually showed it. Ooh. Okay, this is actually probably the best gun, like, in the game, except for the wonder weapon that we're trying to get. Um, it's that. Did you hear that? Oh, I don't like that. Um, the PPSH is just insane. It's so good. It has a lot of ammo. Pretty damn good. Um, I kind of want to show the flogger as well. So maybe we'll show that off. Alright, here we go. And now, the flogger. Unfortunately, I want to see the zombies run through it. Oof, you kind of saw it. One of them fly by. Oh, Christ. <laughs> well, I was too enamored by the flogger and we ended up getting killed. Um, I showed you pretty much everything on the map except for the wonder weapon and the high ram strategy. So we could try again to grab that. We've only been going 16 minutes. Yeah, that's the flogger. It, it's pretty fun watching the zombies just get flung across the map. Um, <laughs> we'll try one more time to see if we can get the uh, get the gun. Uh, even if we have to forsake going for any perks, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> I'm really excited to play Doris next time, because um, that's just without a doubt the best map in this game. It's where they really kind of perfected the zombies formula, and they essentially used Doris as a template for every future map in the series. We're still playing Dempsey, interestingly enough. He's got some interesting movements. <laughs> How can we not hit him? <laughs> Good fucking lord. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what else can I show you? That's it. That's the Goover. Uh, where's the Arasaka? New weapon, the air socket here on the wall, but I'm not even gonna bother taking it. It's just a like a bolt action rifle. It's not that good. It's cheap. It's basically the equivalent of the Car 98K. Um, we're just not gonna bother. There you can see uh, how easy it is for the zombies to hit me through the windows, even though I don't have that same luxury. Oh man. One down. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit him. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yep, just climb through. There we go. Um, one thing that's kind of fun to do is trying to cook a grenade and throw it at Peter McCain, make him flop around. It's pretty morbid when he... Ow. Well, we made it work, but we almost killed ourselves doing it. I think that's the closest I've seen to being dead in this game without actually going down. <laughs> that really hurt. <laughs> Bailey, are you scared of the dog round? I'm actually scared of the dog round if I fucking get there with that jug. Because it is really scary. They move really fast, they hit really hard. I cannot kill this guy. You gotta be faster than that, maggot sack! Back up, slugger! Running low on gun juice. Knock your sea rations. 
Keep your claws to yourself, freak bag. Hey. Grab the Thompson for points. Hit the box and pray. Shit! Weapons out of juice! MP40. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I like how he still didn't throw a Molotov. I've gotten those in all three maps and I haven't thrown them once. I keep forgetting, but it's just like I don't have respect for them. They're really not good. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna spam the box as much as we can until we hopefully get the uh, wonder weapon. Head to the head, baby. Type 100, not a bad gun, but not what we're looking for. Zombie noises come ah from that guy. There's some there's a cool challenge um, that you can do called the the box challenge or random box challenge whatever people want to call it uh, where you just play through each map and the only gun you're allowed to use is your starting pistol and the and the first weapon you get out of the box. Quite fun. It's kind of a casual little challenge. Um, SKG. We don't get it before the dog round, we might have to give up. Which is a real shame, because I got to show it off so well in the uh, first video that got lost. Um, but, you know, there, we it is, uh, you can get the weapon in the next map, but the problem is it's actually bugged to where you kind of don't want to get hit. <laughs> It has a very unfortunate bug with it. Gun again. Yeah, in the last episode, I got the trench gun like twice. <laughs> Why can't I escape this gun? I like the creaking of wood. That's a nice touch. Um. Yeah, I really like this map. Um, it's kind of a, a nice map that's not quite as hard as the other two, um, which I, I enjoy. I enjoy having options, um, even without playing, uh, with the strat I'm trying to sh show off. It's not, uh, it's not too hard of a map. Just <sighs> no luck. <laughs> ah, here we go. Alright, we might die here. Let me just show off the Molotov while we have the chance. There you go. Looks cool, but... Alright. Okay, good. He's killed in one hit. Ooh. Thank god, okay. That was scary. Alright. I was not sure we were gonna get through that. Thank God for the trench gun. I believe it was the last game it shows up in. I mean, game as in World of War. It's not in uh, any of the future games. There's a similar one in Black Ops 1 called the Stakeout, but it's just not good. Not a good gun. Is 
Sooner or later we're just gonna get fucking caught out by a zombie from out of nowhere. Because we don't have jugs, we're just gonna get two hit and killed. Or we won't be able to kill him. Oh, Jesus. Careful. Okay. Fucking bar. I hate the bar so much. Type 100. Oh my god, we're not gonna get it. Game is just begging me, why won't you go out the doors? Don't you want perks? I'm like, no, I only wish for one thing. You have yet to give it to me. I stay over here. Can I change my FOV? Is that an option? Game option? Rolls. Look. I don't, oops, don't, don't do the default. <laughs> um, I don't think this game has an FOV option. That is kind of sad, okay. Is it just me or is it raining blood around here? Oh, come on, come on, please, please, please. Heavy oh my god, why? All right, here we go. Here we go. What the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that mess I just made. Oorah. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, so that's the, uh, no, you are that's the box me, moving. Okay, so we need to look for the light to find out where the box moved to. And, oh, there it is. Okay, well, luckily that's actually where I kind of want it to be, but I still have to open the fucking door here. Isn't going well. <laughs> Speed cola. Right. Try again. PBSH. Get to show it off at least. It's a very good gun. We're gonna get to the dog round, and the dog's gonna be even more powerful. We won't be able to kill him, we don't have jug. It's not looking good for us. I always use the flogger if need be, but the last time using the flogger kind of got me killed. It's because I was mesmerized by it.
Oh my god. I got it. Okay. Now we need to focus. This is going to be a long video, but I don't care. I need Jug. I need Jug now. We need 1750 points to open up another perk. Got like the two best weapons in the game right here. Okay. So this is the Wonder Wolf DG2. It's the second Wonder Weapon. We still haven't seen the first one, the ray gun that's been in since knocked. Um, but this one's used in a lot less maps. And I definitely wanted to show it off here. Because it is a gorgeous gun. Let's uh, open up another perk, hope we can get Jug, and then I'm going to show this off. Even if I can't show you the, uh, the high strat uh, example, I can still show this off. That's the Wonder Wolf, there's Jug. Alright, let's get enough for Jug and then we can do this. Round, round nine. Why are there so few zombies? Well, that's actually kind of the quirk of these World of War maps that make this uh, strategy possible. Okay, here we go. Dogs. I can fight dogs. Okay, all right. I need to kill these guys a bit faster. Okay, cool. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. The reason that this strat is uh, will work the way it will is because in World of War, there's a 24 zombie cap in each round, which means every single round uh, past a certain point, we'll only have up to 24 zombies spawn in. And that shouldn't matter because the zombies will continue to increase in health as time goes on. So eventually your bullet weapons just won't be able to do anything because they just have too much health. And that's when the game will have its artificial artificial difficulty wall, which will end in your death. However, the Wonder Wolf has an infinite damage cap, or I guess I should say a lack of damage cap. It just does infinite damage. And so, what you can do is you can just run around in a circle, gather up all the zombies for the entire round, and then just zap them down with the one to off. And every five rounds, you'll get the dog round, and you can just kill them with the one to off. They'll drop the max ammo, and that'll reset you to max to full ammo on the one to off. And then you can just repeat to round fucking 10,000. I don't think that's ever been achieved, but it is possible. It takes a long time. But this is essentially the strat that I wanted to show off, which is why we're playing this game too, and we're up to 34 minutes. Uh, because now that we have all these zombies lined up, we just zap them all with a, this amazing badass gun. And there you go, the round's over. So, yeah, there you go. That's, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, I really love the Wonder Wolf. I'm also gonna activate this again. So we can get another idea about how that works. See if we can... See if I I wonder if we could... Oh wait, here we go. You can see that zombie. BAM! It gets annihilated. Pretty awesome. Man, I wish I could see more of them. It's so fun watching just like... Alright, there we go. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's all. Um, 
I'm really happy I got to show that off, even if it, even if it took two recordings. Um, it ended up working out. Uh, that was Shinonuma. I'm really excited to play Doris next, because that's just such a great map that just set the tone for the rest of the series. Uh, I hope this recording came out okay. Uh, I'll see you later.